Hi, I'm Sue. This is Yoga Hasta, and we're ready for another chair yoga class today. Um, I'm calling this one uh, Open the Chest because we're going to be working on our pectoral muscles across our chest and also our rhomboids on our back. So essentially we want to uh, stretch these pectoral muscles and strengthen our rhomboids on the back. Uh, a lot of us hunch over a computer or other things, a phone all day, so we're going to be working on that. So this class is going to be opening up our chest. Let's start by breathing and warming up the body from within. So place your hands on your thighs. Settle into your chair. I'm about halfway forward on my chair with a straight back. Hands gently on your legs. If you're comfortable, close the gaze. And start bringing a sense of stillness into your body, listening to the breath. That life force of breath entering and leaving our body. We don't even have to think about it. Right, right now we are. Following the breath in and out just a few times. Letting go of all those worries of our day all the stress, all the loudness, and just coming to a sense of peace in our chair. This is our yoga time. And one more breath in and out. Open the gaze. And this time as we're continuing to breathe, on our inhale, we're going to bring our arms out. I call this joyful arms, look up. And on our exhale, we're going to curve the back a little bit, come down, bring the head down to the chest. So inhale. And exhale very slowly. <coughs> inhale. And exhale. Inhale, arms out. Exhale, hands back. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Straighten the spine once again. Gaze is open. Oh, I meant to mention before, I'll be using a block. If you don't have a block, a can will suffice. I've got a 24 ounce can of tomato sauce, so we'll be using that prop. But right now, come with a straight back, and we're going to tilt our ear to our shoulder. And bring that opposite hand out to your side. It gives you a better stretch in those neck muscles. And come back to neutral. One more time on this side. Back to neutral. Let's do the other side, ear to our shoulder. And be sure you have that shoulder down so that ear comes to the shoulder. The shoulder doesn't come up to the ear. Opposite arm out and hold. And back to neutral. And final time, tilt that ear arm out to the side
and back to neutral. <clears throat> We're going to roll our shoulders back one at a time. And let your arm do whatever it would like. You don't need to be thinking about that arm yet. So a few to the back. And stopping the movement. Let's go to the front. I find this harder to do than going to the back, but I guess we all need practice going both ways. and come back to neutral. Close your gaze for just a moment. Bring your awareness to those shoulders and the neck and how that part of the body has seemed to come alive a little bit. And open the gaze. If you have a block or even your can, uh, take that into your hands. We're going to put either hand on the sides of the block or the can and inhale and bring that all the way up as we inhale exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up and this time we're going to bring that block down to our chest. And what we're going to do is take that block all the way around the body, any way you want to hold it, and just like circling the arms, getting them warmed up. Stop at the front, and let's go the other way just a few times. Hmm. And I'm running into the chair with the block as I take it around. Okay, one more time. Okay, place that block in front of you, out of the way. And we're gonna raise our arms up, gaze up as we inhale, and as we exhale, our one hand is going to come to the opposite knee and we're going to twist around the other hand on the side of the chair and waking up the spine with a nice gentle twist. And come back to neutral, arms up, inhale. And as the arms come down, one is going to come to the opposite knee, the other one on the back of the chair for a twist on this side. And slowly come back to neutral. Okay, oh, we're going to come a little closer to the chair, to the back of the chair, but don't let your back hit the chair. And hang on to the back of the chair on the sides, down low or further up. And then we're gonna grab onto that chair with a straight back and lean forward. Gaze down, little two or three feet out from your feet. Just gazing down at the ground and feeling that chest open up right across here, our pectoral muscles. And relax. And we'll do that one more time. This time I'll grab further down on the chair, but whatever is comfortable for you. One of the rules of yoga is you don't want to be in pain. You might want to be stretching and a little uncomfortable, but not in pain. And come back up and place your hands back on your thighs. Okay, one more thing before we get up to our standing uh, poses. We're going to inhale, bring our arms up, 
Now flip those hands to the front. And when we bring them down, we're gonna be in cactus pose. And we're going to keep coming down in cactus pose, bringing our elbows down. And we're working on our rhomboids right now. What's happening is our, as we come up and down, our shoulder blades like are opening right here or closing right here. And then as we do this mov movement, they're sliding down a little bit on our back and we're strengthening those rhomboids on our back. And inhale, come up. Exhale down to cactus. And then keep coming down with your elbows and hold and release. Okay, we're gonna do our standing poses. So I'm gonna readjust my chair. I'll be flipping the chair around a little bit here. Okay. So our first one, we're going to, I'm about, oh, a foot behind my chair, straight back. I'm going to place my left leg to the back, pointing my toe, and my right arm is going to come up. Lift that leg off the floor just a little bit. And when you feel stable in this position, we're gonna add a movement. So you're gonna bend that elbow and salute, and also bend your leg. Just very slowly. And under control. And one more. And bring that arm and that leg back. Of course, we have to do the other side. <clears throat> so we're going to reach back with that right leg, bring it up, and bring that left arm up. And when you feel that your body is stable here, bend at the elbow and the knee. I'm gonna suggest hanging onto the chair right here. You could try letting go if you're very brave. And one more. and come back down. All right, we always do down dog and up dog because it's so good for you. Place your hands on the back of the chair and slowly walk back until those arms are at the sides of your ears. Soften your knees, gaze down at the ground. And breathe in and out a few times right here. Your feet are your base into the ground, rooting into the ground. Your arms are being strengthened by the back of that chair, by leaning on that chair. And we're going to slowly come forward. And now we do up dog. Arch the back, gaze up. If you're comfortable coming up on your tiptoes, you can do that. You can add an arm or two arms. And come back down. And one more time into down dog. Slowly come back. Arms at your ears, soften the knees. And a few more breaths here. And slowly walk yourself back to that chair. 
Come up on your tiptoes if you like, arch the back. Arm up if you'd like to do that. And slowly bring the arm down, bring the feet down, and march in place for just a moment. Okay. All right, for this I'm going to have to place my chair so that I can come down and put my hand on the seat of the chair. So we're going to place one, the feet are gonna be perpendicular right this, one right under that chair, and one out to the side. Take one hand, place it on the seat of that chair, other hand is on your waist, and gaze up. Getting a nice side stretch, and this is actually triangle pose. If you would like to put your hand, your fingers on your shoulder, or even reach high up into the air, feel free to do that. There's many positions that the, <clears throat> the arm can be in. Right here, you're still getting that side stretch, or right here. And come back up, bring the feet together. Now we're moving around quite a bit, but the chair is going to have to go over here to do my other side. Remember the feet were perpendicular. This one is going to go under the chair, and this one back. Lengthen the spine, and gently come forward, or to the side. I'm sorry, put the weight on that hand. Your opposite hand can be on your waist or fingertips up on your shoulder, or stretch that arm all the way up in the air. And feel the stretch in these lateral muscles on your side. And slowly come up arms down and feet together. Okay, march it out just a little bit, move those legs. Okay, and if you're not able to put a foot up on the chair, I know that's, that's difficult for some people, this chair is actually a little high for me, you can use that block or the can and just elevate that leg like this. So I'll, I'll show it both ways. So that knee is right over your ankle. Hand on your waist, this is all on the right side. And my left hand is going to come on the top of that knee. And we're just going to take a moment and ground ourselves right here feeling very strong before we move. And on the movement, we're going to twist. And as we twist, this hand is pushing on that knee to just add a little bit to the twist. And continue holding here. I'm going to show this pose in a modified position. So if you cannot get your foot up on the chair, just elevate it just a little bit. You still get the benefit of the twist. And come back. And we're gonna do that on the other side. And bring our left foot up. Our left hand on our waist. And our right hand on that knee. The knee is over the ankle and take a moment to feel grounded with a straight back before we twist this other way. And push, use this hand to push that knee a little forward. And 
and hold it there. I'm going to demonstrate our other position, our modified position. And come back to front and march it out a little bit. Okay, we're going to come and sit on our chair again. So move around into a seated position on your chair. I'm going to do a little work with our arms. And this is, let's see, bring your arms out to your side. And we're going to scissor them a little bit just to get the idea here. So my right hand was on top. This time my left is on top. So we're going to just scissor those back and forth a little bit. And the next time when we come in, we're going to bend at the elbows and try to bring those hands together. This is called eagle arms. A modification is just bringing your arms together like this. Or if you can't bring them together, this is fine. So I'm going to do my eagle arms, and we're going to bring those arms up and down. Just a few times up and down. And back to neutral. And Bring the arms to the front, and then we're going to bring them out to the side for cactus arms, and push a little back, opening up those pectoral muscles, and bring them forward, and back, and forward, and back, and one, one more time after this. And forward, together, and back. And let them drop down to your legs. And again, close the gaze, take a moment. I know my arms are feeling tingly and warm and stretched right now. Take a few breaths before we go on. And open the gaze. Now we're going to do a, a foot massage. If you can, raise one foot. Place that ankle over your knee. And you can continue holding it if you like or let it rest down here. Depending on the openness of your hips, some people can only go to this position, which is fine. And you'll notice this foot is sitting there waiting for us. So we're gonna start at the heel and just do some gentle massaging of our foot all the way to the toes. Our feet carry our weight. I'm just going back and forth on my foot right now. Just taking a little massage, doing a little massage with my hands. Now if you think about it, we don't, we don't think about our feet actually. Um, they carry us all day, they bear our weight, they do so many good things. They keep us upright, they let us walk, run, all kinds of things. So after doing that, uh, you might want to try this. It's, you spread the toes apart, and try to slip those fingers in between your toes, and then just move the toes back and forth. Now, it's fine if you need to hold this uh, knee up. Kind of hard doing one thing with one hand and another thing with the other. And let those fingers come out and place that foot back down. Hopefully those feet feel different. So let's bring our left foot up over our right knee and I'm going to hold on to that while I'm massaging. You can massage with one hand 
or two and just try to move that foot around trying to increase the blood flow in our foot and it just feels good it's like thank, saying thank you to your feet One more time, down to the heel. And then try to place those fingers in between your toes, if you can. And come back, just wiggle them back and forth. And remove the fingers and bring that foot down. I uh, hope your feet feel better. Okay, for our forward bend, we're just gonna leave our hands on our legs, straight back, and we're gonna try to extend that head right to the ceiling, right to the sky. And as our back is very, very straight, we're gonna slowly come forward. Just whatever is comfortable for you. And stop and hold. And of course, the muscles that are helping us hold this position are our abs. And inhale. If you would like to come further down and drop your hands to the floor, you can do so. And drop the head down and relax in this forward fold. And place your hands just below your knees. Straighten the back, bring the head up. And with a straight back, slowly come back to a sitting position. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. So straight back, come forward, stop about halfway, hold. And inhale and let the hands slide down come all the way down if you like and just let the head hang and relax place both hands just below your knees Straighten your back, come halfway up, and then come all the way up. Okay, a couple more things for it. We haven't done anything for our hands, so let's bring them out to the front and wiggle them around, back and forth. Wiggle all your fingers. Our hands are also so important, reaching for things playing the piano, opening the refrigerator, chopping vegetables for dinner. So let's bring them up and down and up and down and straight out. And let's take, flip our left hand over and take our other hand and stretch that palm, stretch those fingers to the floor. and release. Now we're gonna do the same on the other hand. And release. And then bring those hands and rest them on your thighs. It's time for Shavasana and to relax a little bit. So we're sitting still on our chair. You can scooch back in your chair, have your self-supported by the back of that chair, hands on your legs, close the gaze. And again, we're going to follow that breath as it comes in and out of our body. And try to bring your awareness to how your body is feeling right now 
after having moved for these 30 minutes. And I think you'll find it feels better than it did when we started. It feels more flexible and alive. And one more breath in and out. Open the gaze, bring the arms up, hands together, and then down to the chest. Thank you for joining me today for this chair yoga class. As always, um, if you'd like to leave any comments, any suggestions, uh, feel free to do that, and I would encourage you to do that. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.